So you play Maddie uh, in Sonic here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about her and how she fits into the story? Sure. Um, Maddie is a veterinarian uh, who is a very supportive wife of James Marsden's character, Tom. And they both live in a small town and they take uh, an adventure. Uh, they take an adventure that they weren't they 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 never thought that they were going to take with this little uh, little blue blur. And she basically tries to help Sonic and, and J James and Tom uh, get to wherever they need to go. I can't um, give you much of the after that. I'm trying to, like, work around what I can say. <laughs> no, I totally get it. Um, so as far as, so this is obviously based on the games. Um, were you a fan of the games growing up, or were you a gamer at all? Was that kind of a part of your life? My brother was a big gamer, so, you know, little sisters, you know, nag little brothers sometimes, and uh, big brothers, actually. And so I would always go in his room and ask if I could play, and he'd say no. And so I'd have to watch a lot of the times. And so once in a while he would give me his controller, and I would not make it that far. But <laughs> the fact is I was entranced by this little blur, you know, this fast little hedgehog. So I do remember him and Tails and, and, and you know, Knuckles and all that stuff. So... Yeah, grew up watching it and, and can't believe that I'm, I'm now part of his world. Um, so a little more specifically with the movie, uh, Jim Carrey is in this, and he hasn't done a role like this in quite some time. I just don't think we've seen him kind of go off the rails like this in a while. What was it like working with him when he was dialed up to 11 in that way? He's such a professional man. Like, he knows what he wants to do. I mean, that's why you hire Jim Carrey, because he brings something else that is not on the page and he does that in this it's like that thing where you're like oh my god i missed him so much you know uh and he he delivers but he to be honest when he would come on set at first it was like oh, jim carrey's coming on set and then he's like hey guys hi guys how you doing oh you know it was so normal and i was like oh yay my hero is amazing and kind and normal and wanting to collaborate and and you know, and then when he got his, you know, in his in his um, costume, he turned into Robotnik, and it was amazing to see. Um, so video game movies have, like, a long history with Hollywood, and they can be somewhat famously challenging to adapt into movies. Uh, from your vantage point, how do you think Sonic kind of approached those challenges? So I come from two vantage points, right? So I come from a point of, like, remembering Sonic when I was a kid, but also... I wasn't a game head, you know what I mean? Like completely like my brother. So going into it, it's like, I'm watching a movie, right? And But then also the surrealness of like, it's Sonic. So I'm excited about both, on both ends. And let me tell you, when I saw this movie, I literally, my jaw dropped. Cause I'm like, this thing is good. Like really good. And I don't want to like hype it up to like, I want you guys to say if it's good or not. But like for me, my experience, how I felt in the theater. I remember looking at my fiance going, like it was, it's so well done. Jeff Fowler really put his heart and soul into it and it moves and it's, it's like adventurous and the music pushes it. And Sonic is just like this dude who you little, little teenager you wanna hang out with, you know? Um, and every character has a point of view and you care, you care about this, you care about the characters, which, makes a film you know and so i'm really proud of it and, and excited for especially the gamers to see it but also people who are just interested uh to see it uh so just before i let you go um i do have to switch topics just a little bit um we haven't heard anything about ride along three in a little bit uh have you heard anything about that do you think you're going to be coming back for that i have not i haven't heard call me when you hear about it <laughs> i don't know i mean that would be great i love the the franchise i love the guys i love cube who plays my brother and and kevin who plays my husband so um we'll have to see you know but i want to be part of the action this time awesome well tika again thank you so much for taking the time today it was a genuine pleasure and congratulations thank you so much